Lewis Hamilton's contract renewal at Mercedes has been the subject of much speculation, with the seven-time world champion's current contract expiring at the end of 2023. Fans are desperate for him to sign a new one, keeping him in the sport to secure a record-breaking 8th World Drivers' Championship. That contract was meant to be signed over winter, but with Christmas gone and the new season just around the corner, nothing has happened and the fans are getting worried. So what is holding talks up? What does Hamilton want? What is the secret clause that Wolf is offering to get him to stay? And how will he spend the stupid amount of money he'll be earning? Let's check it out. In the wake of the 2021 season finale, Lewis Hamilton pulled a complete blackout on all social media and media appearances. The only peep we saw from him was when he defended Nicholas Latifi on Instagram, when the Canadian driver had to make a statement because he and his family had been receiving death threats for his crash at Abu Dhabi. At the time, no one knew if Hamilton would even continue. The entire off-season centered around the possibility of Lewis Hamilton retiring from the sport because of what happened at the season finale. Luckily for us, that didn't happen, and he returned in 2022, ready and reinvigorated for a chance to win the eighth world title he missed out on the year before. Unfortunately for Hamilton, the W13 was not up to the standard that the RB18 set last season, and Max Verstappen strolled to victory in one of the most dominant seasons in F1 history. 2022 wasn't the proper opportunity that Hamilton and his fans desired. If he was going to bow out without that eighth title, at least let the last season he races be a competitive one. His current contract will take him to the end of 2023, giving him one more season to achieve the history-making eighth title. There is a chance that Mercedes can turn things around and build a car that can compete with Red Bull. There's also a chance they don't, though. Either way, Hamilton isn't done yet and has expressed his desire to keep racing for many years to come. So why has no new contract been signed yet? Toto Wolff has revealed that talks with Lewis Hamilton over a new Mercedes deal have yet to start due to the seven-time F1 champion's winter travels. Speaking in October, Hamilton expressed a desire to remain with Mercedes for potentially five more years. But since the end of last season, he's been globetrotting, including a recent trip to Antarctica. The team principal Wolff has so far been cautious not to set a deadline, by which a new deal must be agreed upon. Providing an update on the situation, Wolff said, we have a full year to go. We've been so aligned. In the last 10 years, our relationship has grown. It's just a matter of time being back in Europe, us sticking our heads together, wrestling a bit and then leaving the room with white smoke after a few hours. Despite the lack of talks, though, there have been rumors about what a potential contract will be worth. Hamilton's current deal is thought to be worth around $40 million a year, before any kind of bonuses or appearance fees. Some sources will say that makes him the best-paid Formula 1 driver in history, other sources say that Max Verstappen slightly out-earns him. Either way, it's an incredible amount of money. Luckily for the drivers, their salaries aren't currently included within the budget cap, so they're free to earn whatever the teams are willing to pay them. In Hamilton's case, that is a lot of money. After all, he is the most successful driver in the history of the sport. Reportedly, the seven-time world champion has been offered over $73 million per season, and that is before all the extras that come from bonuses. One difference will be, unlike his existing contract, there won't be a bonus for winning the Drivers' World Championship. Hamilton's current contract earns him about $27 million every time he takes a title. Either Hamilton doesn't think the team will provide him with a car to win another title, so he'd rather have the money paid in his contract, or the team doesn't want to risk him winning another six titles in seven years. The contract is likely to last for two years, which will take Hamilton into his 40s. Reports state that the salary will largely be paid by Mercedes' sponsor Ineos, which is British billionaire Jim Ratcliffe's company. The two have a long-standing relationship away from F1, as well as Hamilton being a part of Ratcliffe's unsuccessful bid to buy Chelsea Football Club, and recent rumors that they're now targeting Manchester United. Ratcliffe will pick up 90% of the contract, which also includes funds used to finance Hamilton's charity Mission 44. Aside from the financial terms of the deal, Wolf is trying to tempt Hamilton with a deal to keep him at the team long after he's decided to stop driving. To understand why, it's important to realize how much Hamilton is worth to Mercedes. Lewis has over 30 million social media followers and is by far the most recognizable Formula 1 driver. In the motorsports industry, apart from maybe James Bond and Michael Schumacher, there isn't a bigger name. So having Hamilton with Mercedes even after his racing retirement is huge for the brand in terms of advertising potential. 
Because of that, Mercedes are also looking to get Hamilton on board for an ambassadorial role with the Silver Arrows and wants a 10-year deal with the Daimler Group, who own Mercedes-Benz, for which he would be paid around $27 million per year. In total, the deal could be worth around half a billion dollars to the Formula 1 superstar. You don't need me to tell you that that is an insane amount of money. Clearly, Mercedes see a lot of value in keeping Hamilton around for the future. But how on earth will he spend all of that money? Fortunately, Hamilton has loads of side projects that he's going to need capital to help get going. First off, he's a producer and advisor to the project via Dawn Apollo Films, a production company that he recently set up in conjunction with his manager, Penny Thau. In addition to a fictional film based around F1 that will start shooting next year, Hamilton is involved in a documentary about his career. Both have been backed by Apple, whose CEO Tim Cook was present at the USGP and was invited to wave the checkered flag. If either are anything like Tim Cook's flag waving, then I wouldn't get excited about them. Come on, Tim, you could have at least tried. While Hamilton may have financial backing for these two projects, if he wants to start producing more movies, having half a billion dollars in his bank will go a long way to making whatever vision he has come true. There is also a blossoming music career that Hamilton is looking to get going. With the kind of money his new Mercedes deal will be earning him, this could even be self-produced, keeping creative control firmly in his hands. He showcased his vocal range in Christina Aguilera's 2018 song called Pipe under the pseudonym XNDA. Hamilton may have tried to hide his identity by using the name XNDA, but fans were quick to recognize his voice. However, he only confirmed his identity in 2020, citing anxiety about being accepted by his fans. It was only after he realized the song did well that he decided to confirm that he was indeed the voice in Christina's song. Hamilton actually teased a few tracks from the album last year, and if the Instagram story of African artists' major league DJs is any proof, Hamilton might be working in collaboration with them on an album. One Instagram story's caption reads, Showing the bro at Lewis Hamilton the album. It isn't just artistic creation and expression, though, that Hamilton could be using his newfound funds for. He's also looking to get involved in sports management in a big way. He already owns part of the Denver Broncos through the Walton Penner Group, but now is looking to get involved in football as well. We already mentioned his failed bid to become a part owner of Chelsea Football Club. Could Manchester United be the next target for Lewis Hamilton? With the Glazer family, controversial owner of Chelsea's Premier League rival Manchester United, now seemingly open to relinquishing at least some of their membership of the club, this has brought Hamilton's name into play. Previously, British multi-billionaire and co-owner of the Mercedes Formula One team through Ineos, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, put his interest in buying Manchester United, the team that he supports on record. And Hamilton's past comments on the matter suggest that if Ratcliffe does make an offer, then he very well could be a part of the efforts too, having stated his desire to get more involved with team ownership and embark on a project with Ratcliffe. So what do you think of Hamilton's potential future contract? Is he worth the half a billion dollars that Mercedes are willing to spend on him? Let us know in the comments down below. And on your way down, don't forget to subscribe in preparation for the 2023 season. Until next time, drive safe and bye for now.